Braylon, kind of just take us through the emotions of playing in a game like that and, and when you are running that wide open, I imagine that's got to be a pretty exhilarating feeling. Uh, man, exciting and, and blessing, you know. Uh, just being able to catch the touchdown pass at, at that moment of the game, man, is all, all God, you know. And um, the coaches put us in the right position to make plays. Matt put the ball on me, and uh, it was the end zone after that. I just want to talk about maybe something kind of non-football in that, you know, we've all watched your career here and uh, we've been waiting and waiting and waiting. Uh, and it, it's finally happening for you. We're just talking about all the publicity that you're getting and everything. How, how incredible is that? That, uh, you know, your patience and your hard work has paid off because you've been through some adversity. Uh, and again, uh, just all the blessing, you know, I'm um, just staying the course and um, just continue to put my head down and work each and every day. And I'm um, just using the resource resources around me to get better and um, just doing what I have to do each and every day to be one percent better each and every day. On the first one Saturday, did you think you were in or did you know you your knee was down just short? Uh, I, honestly, I didn't. I, when I got up, I looked like I was in the end zone, but he was already running in up time out on the one. So. As long as I made the play, that's all that matters. Snoop ran the ball in, we scored. In practice or in games or whatever, what's the longest you and Matt have ever converted on something? How far do you think he can throw you a pass? Um, I think he still got more in the tank that he hasn't let out yet, honestly. But uh, the longest would probably be the one from state. The state one, you know, uh, but uh, he definitely got some more room in there. What's it like just running under a ball when, when it's in the air like that? I mean, does anything go through your head, or are you just kind of running on instincts Don't at that point? It. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. When you're running that wide open and, and uh, you know it's a big game, focus is to just catch the ball first and um, use your legs after that, you know. <laughs> I know you guys have to take things one week at a time, one opponent at a time. Uh, but the – the kind of the long view in the SEC West changed a little bit over the weekend with Alabama losing, so they have a loss now, and uh, certainly proved that they're not, you know, invulnerable. Um, have you guys, has any of that registered on y'all, that y'all are just as much in the hunt to get to Atlanta as anybody else? Um, maybe maybe not right now, you know. Uh, right now we just focus on being one and no this week, you know, and um, – We'll focus on that when, the, when that time comes. But right now, we just focus on going one to know this week, and that's it. I know we talked about Moss a little last week, but just who are your guys? Who do you kind of like to build your game after? Or who do you just admire watching a receiver? Uh, right now, I like watching Devontae Adams, you know, uh, DeAndre Hopkins, and um, Tina Allen and those guys. Um, it's more, but those are the top three guys that I like watching, and um, I like model my game after. This is a get to know Braylon kind of day in here. But what uniform combination do you like the most? Um, I honestly like the all white back in my sophomore year. <laughs> but uh, this one, um, I like the powder blue with the powder blue helmet, or the like the powder blue helmet with the red and white pants. Tell us about uh, if you have any any pregame rituals that you do. Um, I gotta have music. Who do you 100%. listen to? 100 Lil Baby, Future, Young Thug, all those guys. Yeah, I, I don't know who those guys are, but I will Google search. 